What's up guys, this is Moto E running on Android Lollipop 5.0.2. Now the question is, as per the title it says, how to move data of the games to the SD card in Android Lollipop. So as far as you are in KitKat, you might have used apps like Fold Amount, GL2SD, or even a few exposed modules. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use that exposed module called the X internal SD. So this is the only thing that's working right now. And I have actually tested both fold amount and GL2SD. None of them actually work, but this seemed to me like it's working. Pretty great. Now for this you need to download two main files. One is the exposed framework installer zip over here and the other one is the exposed installer 3.1 alpha one so one of my mate from XDA helped me T3 snake I have updated his tutorial link in the description below so you will find the download links in his XDA link so do check that out it would be helpful then download these three files and then get back to this video so like I was saying we are using the X internal SD app for moving our data to SD card. Not really moving the thing, uh, the moving part is your job. So what we do is turn off the phone first. Right, many people have actually tested and as reported it seems like they got a bit buggy part of getting a warning message, a warning message regarding storage problem. So you would be getting a warning message saying low on storage even though you have about one gig of storage left in your device. So to solve that, this is what we do. First, it's the normal thing, we get into recovery mode. Alright, so once we are in, we go to install and then select this exposed arm in the installer zip. So this is the exposed framework swipe to install. I'll not be doing that because I've already flashed it but you do it and once it's done you will get option of wipe, wipe cache and Dalvi cache or reboot system. Now don't select any of those just get back to the home page and then get inside wipe and then advanced wipe select Dalvi cache and cache then swipe to wipe once the wiping is done again, simply reboot the system. Now over here, you should not panic at all because this whole process may, might take about 20 to 25 apps, I mean 20 to 25 minutes depending on the number of apps you have in your phone. So while it's switching on, you will get a message of optimizing apps, the number of apps you have inside, and then finally it boots in. And again, as soon as it boots in, you will not see all of your apps in the app drawer. So you need to wait for about 10 minutes, hardly 10 minutes, before you can see all those vanished apps back again. But always remember that wiping Dalvi Cache and Cache is the important step here to prevent the bug. The bug which I was talking about, the storage warning bug. So we'll wait for it to boot. Alright, so as you see, there are no apps right now. But within a few minutes, the apps get restored automatically. Alright, looks like all the apps have been restored and we are good to go. So the next step what we do is go to your file manager and then simply install the exposed installer. So I've actually already installed that and I go to that installer thing. Okay, so here is exposed installer. Now inside framework you wouldn't find anything interesting, so just forget about it. It says installation is only possible manually via recovery for now. So that is what we actually did. And then 
go to modules. This is where you down actually activate the modules which you download. Go to download and then over here in the search bar type in X internal SD and then search. So you will get this module over here. Swipe from left to right to see if the version is stable or not. So here you can see that it supports for Lollipop and it's stable. So you can download and install that. I've already installed it and once installed, go to modules and then simply activate the module. Once activation is done, it will ask you to reboot the system. That's your choice to reboot the system again or not, but you have to reboot it. But before that, you can do this step. Get into external SD and then let these two be as it is. And over here, if you want, you can activate it for all the apps or you can activate it as per your wish. So I've actually activated all the games as per my wish. And then the moving of data is your part. So you can simply go to the file manager and then search for each and every directory if you have any files. Simply cut that, paste, and then paste it in Android slash data slash whatever it is. And then reboot the system. So as in my opinion, I see that every reboot actually takes time for the apps to load up again. So do not panic in that case. That is pretty much it and we are actually good to go with gaming. This is it. If it was helpful to you, leave a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel to watch a more some stuff coming up soon with the lollipop and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Are you ready for the